Hello, my name is Tom Fly. I'm an audio engineer. I've had the uh, privilege of uh, working uh, with Mickey Hart on uh, quite a few uh, projects over the years, many years. The uh, goal for all the endangered music projects, which were recorded quite a while ago under very primitive conditions, and my hat is off to all the recordists. Uh, these people were dedicated souls who took car batteries and whatever they needed and lathes out into the jungle to record this music. Um, it's really a, a, a fine work. Um, each, <clears throat> each project had uh, its own set of problems, and I like uh, solving problems. Uh, the objective was to make it uh, the recordings intelligible and listenable. Um, some of the uh, recordings uh, were recorded on acetate, which is a uh, uh, disc, an aluminum disc. It just has lacquer uh, painted on it, and the uh, lathe would just etch the vibrations in the lacquer. And over years, just like all the old uh, analog records, um, there would be flaws, little pops and skips and all this kind of stuff, and uh, surface noise, kind of a shh. Uh, so <clears throat> the first step to uh, all these recordings was to um, get rid of all the contamination. Um, this means uh, filtering with uh, what we call EQs, which are just very fancy bass treble treble knobs. Um, and you'd find in the spectrum where the noise was, and then you'd filter it out. Now, in some of these projects, <clears throat> the filtering was so severe to get it to where you could hear the music that the music lost its, its ambience. Uh, so in, on certain uh, recordings, we would take the filtered sound and then pump it through very high quality speakers out into Mickey's meadow and then mic the meadow. And it would bring a, a continuity together of the sound. And a lot of these uh, were recorded outside anyhow, so it just restored um, the natural sound of the recording. In other instances, uh, when we got to the digital domain, um, if there was a skip in the record, we were able to go in with the Sonic Solutions and just take that little snippet of sound and pull a little sound from the right and a little sound from the left and kind of the computer would kind of imagine what was in between there. And sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Uh, sometimes you just had to back off how much you were doing. Um, but that was a way to get rid of the clicks and pops and static noise on the disc.